Okay. This court has sat through the trial, has heard arguments of defense and the state, has listened to the witnesses today, and after considering all of those things, the court will impose sentence as follows. Please stand, Ms. Lee. With respect to count one, malice murder, the court will impose a sentence of life with the possibility of parole. With respect to count two, felony murder, that will merge into count one and is dismissed as a matter of law. With respect to count three, aggravated assault, that merges into counts one and two. With respect to count four, felony murder, that merges into count one and it is dismissed as a matter of law. With respect to count five, the false imprisonment uh, verdict, the court imposes a sentence of eight years consecutive. With respect to count six, possession of a firearm during the commission of a felony, the court imposes a sentence of five years that will run consecutive uh, to the underlying sentence. Count seven and eight will merge into count six. So the court's total sentence is life with the possibility of parole plus eight years consecutive on the false imprisonment and five years consecutive on the possession of firearm during the commission of a felony. And that is the court sentence. So I'll remind you again, Ms. Payne, into the custody of the Sheriff's Department. Before, Before I, do, I do have some instructions for you, Ms. Payne. You have a right to seek post-judgment relief from your conviction of the crimes, either by making a motion for a new trial in this court and or filing an appeal to a higher appellate court. If you want to file a motion for new trial or an appeal, then you will need to file the said motion or a notice of appeal with the clerk of superior court of this county within 30 days. You may want to more fully discuss this with your attorney. If a motion for new trial is made and the court denies it, you will have 30 days from the filing of this order of denial in which to file with the clerk of court your notice of appeal. You have a right to have an attorney represent you on the motion for new trial and the first level of direct appellate review. And if you cannot afford to hire an attorney, the court will provide you an attorney and a transcript of your trial at no cost. In addition, usually you have a period of four years from the date of your sentence, which is today, before in the score becomes final to file a habeas corpus petition. The details that can affect the time within which you must file this petition are contained in the copy of this court subsection, and I'm going to ask the deputies to hand that to you. And so you have four years from today's date to file a habeas corpus petition. Uh, councils, I can confer with you as to set in um, a date for the hearing for a motion for new trial, um, but we can do that once uh, we're adjourned, okay. Uh, I just have one question. I have to Yes. I noticed you said eight and five. Are any of those additional charges or any of that going to be probated? I, I believe I was very clear, um, Attorney Tucker, that they are consecutive. So it's consecutive to serve? The, the life with the possibility of parole. <coughs> okay. Anything further from the state? Nothing further from the state, Judge. Anything further from defense no, counsel? Nothing further from the defense. Okay, thank you. Ms. Payne, you may go with the deputies at this time.
with respect to this matter, the court stands adjourned at this time.